Welcome back to the forest. It's my second time in this location. Uh, the first time was right after winter where there was no leaves in the trees whatsoever. And now we are in full bloom and I'm curious to hear what the sound difference will be. Um, I'm at the top of a ridge and it goes down and then it comes back up and it's got a great natural reverb. And I'm really excited to hear what will happen tonight. And I say tonight because I am recording tonight uh, as opposed to today because I want, I want to get a little bit spooked tonight. Uh, but you often get pickup trucks and, and you get interrupted and such and you get people wondering what the hell you're doing. And my real hope is that the coyotes will be out now. So night birds and coyotes, you're welcome tonight. I'm gonna get setting up. I got lots of work ahead of me. Well, lots of hiking up and down the uh, hill here and getting the mics in place has been a, a bit of a challenge. Got things in the trees. Um, I have probably the same setup that I had in my head. Very similar to the last time I was here, but there is a couple of adjustments. Um, but I think I think where we're going now is gonna be uh, where I'll stay. Nothing, nothing wrong with a bit of rope in the woods. Now I haven't found the dead animal, but there definitely is uh, the smell of death kicking about around here. It's one thing to set up in the day with lots of time, but it's, it's another thing to, to have to tear down when you're exhausted and it's black, pitch black out. Now one difference that I have this time around is I composed a piece of music before coming out here, so I'll have that in my, uh, in my headphones. Um, usually I compose the piece afterwards using the tracks, but I thought I'd try something different today and a little late in the day and I don't want to get caught out and uh, do this when it's dark. I, th I think I got everything done. I just got to wait for the sun to go down. Um, everything seems to be in its place, both physically and sonically. I have everything at a good level and it's, it's pretty much every instrument that I've been, I've been sound checking seems to have a similar volume. So uh, now I know the sweet spot of, whew, of where to uh, hit, etc. And I've been oiling trombones and tuning kick drums and checking amplifier EQs and moving the speaker and doing this and that, stringing drums up in the air. Um, so after all that food, waiting for the sun to go down, and I think I will be pretty excited when everything gets clicked on and uh, away we go. It's pretty, pretty pungent. It's quite the smell. Now the mic setup is pretty consistent of what I've been doing. I've got five mics out here and one contact mic that is going into the amplifier and the suitcase speaker and that is going to broadcast the whole forest with the instruments uh, and the main mic other than that is this this 12 gauge shotgun shell mic and it's down probably from the performance area i would say maybe 50 feet and it's pointed up towards us so that is my key mic i would imagine and i have some spectrum uh, microphones. I've got the left and right 58s and the left one is about 30 feet pointed towards here at a 45 degree angle and the right one is, a, is about 30 feet as well. Uh, I paste it out and it's 45 degrees pointing to the performance area as well. And the large condenser microphone which is right in front of the uh, tree right here is 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 kind of put there on purpose because I wanted to not have any reflection from the back coming to it. Just a little bit of a gobo. Um, might help with mixing, it might not, I'm not really sure. So I highly recommend stethoscopes. They, they've, they've sound incredible and you get a pretty accurate reading uh, within like millimeters of, of where the sweet spot is. And it's amazing how, how quickly it can change with just the slightest movement. It's just starting to get dark now and I'm going to light her all up and crank the amp and
deer right out here. I'm just going to go out, grab one of the mics, but I think it's right where the mic is. I'm trying to scare it off, but it doesn't seem to want to move. I don't have my easy grunter. Well, that's a wrap. Uh, very late. The moths I feel for because they're uh, they're they're getting some messages from the light, so they probably uh, I can't fulfill with them right now. So had a great night. Really, really tired, but um, just packing up all this stuff is going to be a uh, a bit of a chore. Uh, I'm looking forward to it in a weird way, and I think what I'm going to do on this one, uh, I'm going to try something new, and I'm not going to listen to any of the tracks for. Uh, a couple days and try and discipline myself to, to not go go in there let them kind of brew for a while and, and let me think about what happened maybe maybe my memory might um, add to some uh, storylines who knows anyway until the next time uh, Paul Clifford at the jaw shop adventure recording um, signing off and about to strike the set